If your Face ID isn't working on your iPhone to unlock your phone or do various things, I'm going to walk you through steps to definitely get that fixed. The first thing we'll do is head into the Settings app of your iPhone. After you've opened up the Settings app, let's scroll down, tap on General, and then Software Update. There are two things that I would recommend everybody do initially when they're having troubles. One is update the software, and the second one is restart your phone. So press and hold the volume up and the side button until you see the option to slide and turn off your phone. So try those two things, Software Update, turn off your phone. If those don't work, let's go back to the very beginning of your settings here. Let's scroll down until you get to Face ID and Passcode and tap on that. Enter in the passcode for your phone here, and you're gonna check to make sure Use Face ID is turned on for everything across the board. Essentially, it could be turned off or disabled for something you're trying to use it for. If it still doesn't work, I would recommend going down and tapping Reset Face ID. And now you can just set up a new Face ID. So hit Set Up Face ID and go through the process. Just put your face in the screen here. And then once it's ready, turn your face around in kind of a circle like that. And it will basically reset your face ID and set up a new one for you. If it still doesn't work for you, the next thing I would recommend doing is sometimes the screen protector or the screen at the very top inhibit your ability to use that. So get a cloth, clean the screen at the very top, maybe take the screen protector off. If you go through all these steps and it still doesn't work, let's go back to the very beginning of our settings, tap on the general option, and then we'll scroll down to the very bottom. From here, just tap on transfer or reset iPhone hit reset, and now we'll choose to reset all your settings back to factory default, including the settings for your face ID. So go through this process of resetting those. If you go through all of this and it still doesn't work, you can always contact Apple support just by typing into Google Apple support. And from here, you can go to Apple support. Let's in this case, choose iPhone. And then we can scroll down you can see a long list of various things that you might need support with. And you can see, basically see if one of these fits for you, or if you need to, at the very top, you can just tap on the search bar or you can hit get the Apple support app here. If you wanted to get the Apple support app to go through the process of requesting to get a chat or a call directly through Apple support to run through issues and troubleshoot solutions.